Welcome to ST Academy. Today we are going to discuss about laws of motion important questions for TS and AP MSET 2021. Before going to start the video, I would like to tell you uh, units of measurement, physical world, as well as motion in a straight line, uh, motion in a plane, all MCQs we have given. And in our, this video, we are going to discuss about important MCQs of TS MSET 2021. A boy is hanging from a horizontal branch of a tree. The tension in the arm will be maximum when the angle between the arm is. So here the answer is for 120 degrees. 120 degree is the answer. Next is sand is being dropped on a convener belt at a rate. See whenever it gives in a question at a rate m kg per second that is dm by dt in motion in a uh, so laws of motion whenever it says something is dropping or something is happening at the rate or so fuel is consumed at the rate when it says that means dm by dt so the dm by dt is m and it says the force necessary to keep the belt moving with a constant velocity v velocity is given so you need to find out the force force formula is d m by dt into v so dm by dt is capital m and v is v so you will get the vm is the answer next a body under the force of action force is given acceleration is given mass you need to calculate you know the simple formula of mass mass f is equals to ma is a newton second law of motion in that if you need to find out the acceleration or mass mass is equals to f by a is the formula just substitute the force force uh, force is given just you need to find out the magnitude you know how to find out the magnitude 6 square 8 square 10 square you will get the force substitute the force and acceleration is 1 so next is guys question number 5 a man a mass of a lift is 2000 kgs when the tension in the supporting cable is this acceleration the formula of acceleration when tension is given and mass is given acceleration is equals to t minus mg by m when you substitute the value of tension and the mass you will get the answer next is a person of mass 60 kg is inside a lift of mass 940 kg and press the button on the control panel the lift moving upward with an acceleration acceleration is given g is given tension you need to find out tension formula is mass into acceleration due to gravity plus acceleration substitute here you will get the answer next is this is a very important question why because this kind of questions are mostly asked in tsm set the force acting on a particle of mass is indicated by the force time graph shown below the change in momentum of the particle over a time interval 0 to 8 second is you need to find out the change in momentum change in momentum formula is delta p so here first one if you see 0 to 2 is a uh, triangle so it's a triangle you know what is the formula of a area of a triangle half into length into breadth so uh, sorry half into base into height substitute here you will get the answer uh, next is minus this is a rectangle so uh, suppose the 2 to 4 is a rectangle so you substitute there you will get the answer next is plus sorry 2 to 4 is a square you know what is the formula of a square it's negative why because when it comes down uh, the graph that is 2 to 4 is negative minus you uh, use the formula of uh, area of a square next plus 4 to 8 is a rectangle substitute the value you know the formula of rectangle length into breadth substitute there you will get the answer next is this is another very important question tricky question three block abc are given and the masses are given are in contact with the frictionless surface if force is given and is applied on a 4 kg block then the contact between the four forces are contact formula is so here when you see the first you need to find out the acceleration acceleration contact force is how many objects are there there are three objects one two three so three into acceleration you will get the answer of a contact force simple question next is a convener belt is moving at a constant speed of 2 meter per second a box is generally drop on it the coefficient of friction between them mu is given the distance that the box will move relative to the belt before coming to rest you need to find out the uh, distance that the, the total distance you need to find out so here v square equals to 2 mg into s there is a formula when you substitute there you will get the s value next question is very important question 
as shown in the figure a batsman deflect a ball by an angle 45 degree without changing its initial speed which is equals to 54 km per hour if the mass of the ball is this impulse so you need to find out the impulse impulse means change in momentum so what is the formula of uh, change in momentum 2 mu cos theta sometimes they may ask you giving their change in momentum you find out or impulse you find out directly substitute mass is given uh, uh, initial velocity is given angle is given just substitute there you will get the answer next is the momentum of a body in two perpendicular direction at any time you need to find out the momentum px is given py is given momentum formalized force equals to dp by dt so two they have given uh, px and py so substitute in the formula you will get dp by dx that is given uh, differentiate that you will get 4t uh, then again you differentiate that you will get 3t and you got the values just take out the magnitude time is how much 2 seconds time is given 2s substitute there 2s you will get the answer 10 units next is a stationary body of mass 3 kg explodes in 3 equal pieces Two pieces fly off at right angle to each other, one with velocity 2i and other with, with velocity 3j. The explosion takes place in 10 to the power of minus 5 seconds, the average force acting on the third piece. So here you need to find out the average force that, uh, force that act on a third piece. Whenever it says the average force act on a third piece, the formula is P3 is equal to P minus P1 minus P2. That is a cross uh, cross product or you can multiply also p1 into p2 so when you multiply p1 into p2 you will get the answer 2i plus 3j so change in momentum that is a change in momentum you got times substitute there you will get the answer next uh, very important question a, a bomb falling freely from rest explodes Sorry, if a bomb falling freely from the rest burst after 10 seconds into two fragments, two pieces. The ratio is given 2 is to 1 and the velocity of heavier fragment immediately after the explosion is 200 meter per second vertically downward. The velocity of the lighter fragment immediately after the explosion is. Here what do you need to find out the velocity? V2 you need to find out. So to find out the V2, V formula is V is equal to U plus AT. So here acceleration is given, time is given. We know the law of conservation of linear momentum mv is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Substitute the values, you will get the v2 directly. The v is given, v1 is also given. Just substitute, you will get the v2 value. Next is, this is a very tricky question. Impulse is supplied to a moving object with a force at an angle of 120 degree. The angle between the impulse vector and change in momentum. So here, the impulse and change in momentum are in same direction the angle will be zero so whenever it says to find out the angle between impulse and change in momentum that is always zero next is an impulse i given to a body change its velocity v1 to v2 the increase in kinetic energy of the body kinetic energy formula is half m v2 v2 is square minus v1 is square we know that and we know what is v2 square minus v1 square is a square minus b square formula you will get a plus b a minus b so v2 minus v1 you know v2 minus v1 is or v2 minus v1 is a impulse so in place of v2 minus v1 you can write i directly substitute i you will get the answer next very important question a bullet is fired from a gun the force on the bullet is f is equal to given and t uh, force is in newton t is in seconds the force on the bullet becomes zero as soon as it leaves the barrel the average impulse so here you need to find out the impulse so force formula is given and impulse formula is integration of fd just integrate you will get the answer you know how to do the integration guys very important question 23rd one next is this is another very important question that uh, yes force uh, the force acting on a particle mass m force and time graph the change in momentum of the particle over a time period over a time interval from 0 to 8 0 to 8 you need to find out 1 by 2 same formula uh, which we use there for uh, the prob last problem what we did same formulas apply the same formula you will get the answer area of ft means triangle square rectangle use all those definitely you will get the answer next is this is another very important question small 
problem but very very tricky question a ball of mass 2 kg moving with velocity is given a ball normally and bounces back with same speed so whenever it says a ball is moving with a velocity and bounces back with the same speed if the time of contact between the ball and the wall is milliseconds the average force exerted the average force exerted whenever we are talking about wall is 2 mu by t substitute the mass initial velocity and uh, the time you will get the answer next is this is another very important question the other question which i have given directly it fetch you maximum marks guys try to practice if you practice this question thoroughly definitely that helps you to get some a block of metal weight 2 kg is rest is resting on a frictionless plane is stuck by a jet releasing a water at it some whenever in a the problem that comes water in a rate per kg or something kg per second it is dm by dt force formula is v into dm by dt substitute here dm by dt velocity is given 5 newton you got the force what do you need to find out the acceleration acceleration is force by mass Def directly you will get the answer next is the last question a 100 kg iron ball having velocity 100 meter per second collides with a wall at an angle 30 degree normal to the wall and rebound with the same angle it is making same angle what do we need to find out the force experienced by them change in horizontal momentum by time of contact horizontal momentum formula is to be cos theta and time of contact is 0.1 to be p cos theta p you know p is a momentum what is the formula p p is equals to mv substitute the values of all definitely we get the answer guys this all about laws of motion in our next video we will upload about work power and energy important 20 mcqs that are very helpful try to practice this problem what what we have given if you have any kind of uh, clarification or doubts you can write in our comment thanks for watching